Hello, my name is Thelma. Today we'll be talking about cost of living in Japan. But before we head to the video, I really, I really want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. So yes, let's head into the video. Japan will largely depend on where you are planning to live. So if you're planning to live in Tokyo, oh my god, your cost of living is really going to be high because I mean Tokyo, the capital city. Yes, today I'll be talking about my cost of living. I live in Itako City. Itako City is in Ibaraki Prefecture and it's only two hours 30 minutes away from Tokyo. So first on my list is rent i pay thirty thousand yen monthly for rent and it does not include utilities and internet so most apartments in japan do not provide you with internet and the rent usually do not cover utilities but if you are looking for an apartment that might provide you with internet services and the rent might cover utilities you should check out leo palace or bridge life but they are very expensive i must warn you the second one is utilities so utilities depend on your usage and the season so in summer and in winter the bills are usually high for me i pay between seven thousand five hundred to twelve thousand five hundred monthly for my utilities the next on my list is health insurance. Health insurance is mandatory for every resident of Japan. And there are two kinds of health insurance. We have the social health insurance and the national health insurance. The national health insurance is cheaper than the social health insurance. And if you are working, your company might decide what insurance you should be on. I personally am currently on the national health insurance and I pay 2,000 yen monthly. In my first year in Japan, I was paying 1,500 yen monthly. I will also advise that you pay your bills on time because when you go to pay, there are default fees attached to the bills. The next one is pension. Pension is also very important. It's a bill that you're expected to pay and you can apply for an exemption. However, it is not guaranteed i was lucky enough to get an exemption but before my exemption was approved i was to pay sixteen thousand five forty monthly for my pensions the next one is um phone bills so phone bills will depend on your service provider i currently use mobile mobile is very foreigner friendly because you are not tied down to a contract so you can terminate mobile at any time as long as you notify mobile of of the date you intend to your service to end i think a month before the actual date you are leaving japan yeah without incurring any extra fee unlike most other service providers here in japan you are expected to have a two-year contract and when you want to terminate you are going to pay a fee which is usually a lot but they are cheaper than mobile actually um, mobile also has different data plans and prices attached i am currently on the 7 gig monthly data plan and i pay 4500 yen if i also make a call that incurs charges i am my bill my phone bill for that month will be higher for internet, I pay 5,000 yen for an unlimited internet monthly. The next one is transportation. So if you are in Tokyo or in other big cities, basically if you are in Japan, you should have your Passmore and your Suka card. My advice is that you put in enough cash in your cards because it's quite convenient. And trust me, you might not use up the fares if you are not living in Tokyo because you're not going to be taking the train a lot of times if you're living in other cities aside from Tokyo. So I usually put 10,000 yen so that when I'm in Tokyo, I don't have to worry about um, paying at every stop. And it's 
I usually I don't use up my fair. It can last as long as three months or more. Carbs. I would suggest if you can avoid using carbs, please avoid using carbs. Please. The next is okay for buses. I usually don't use buses as well in Mitako. I have my bike. And if if I want to use the bus, I take the bus to Tokyo and I spend 2,000 yen for the bus ride. The next one is grocery shopping. For grocery shopping, I do a monthly a monthly shopping and I spend between 10,000 yen to 15,000 yen. It's quite affordable for me. I don't spend within the week or so my things everything i buy lasts for a month or more depends for clothing clothing is personal to you if you want to wear designers expect that you're going to be paying higher if you're looking for an aff affordable store you should check out uniqlo h&m for your shoes check out abc mart and there are also thrift shops here in japan and this might not apply to you but for me i eat lunch at work and I pay 4,000 yen for lunch monthly and for tea, I pay 500 yen for tea monthly. So in total, I spend between 60,000 yen to 80,000 yen monthly. So I, I hope you found this very informative. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment. Thank you.